Hello and welcome back to the series. We're going to be testing out top rated face masks sold on Amazon. Today we have a KF94. This is the Korean standard. And these are the Dr. Puri Micro Dust Protection Mask in the size medium. Um, they did come in three different sizes. On the box, it does also contain the lot number and the expiration date. Just off the bat, the designing and packaging of this K94 is really good. I'm going to actually open it the way that you're supposed to open it. So not through here, but this way. So we can make it look pretty. This is how it looks whenever you open it up the way that it shows you. I kind of messed up a little bit there, but we're going to ignore that. Um, this is a packaging of the K94. The packaging on these are really nice, but are they going to protect you? Let's go over the listing before I put it on. <laughs> this is the 20-pack Dr. Puri New Micro Dust Protection Face Mask Premium. Wait, no. <laughs> Premium Face Mask KF94. So like I said, we did get in a size medium. So you guys see the listing, the medium has a lot of girl pictures and then the small is for kids and then the large has male pictures. These are currently $27.99. If we scroll down a little bit, they are being sold by Dr. Puri Official. They are currently sitting at a 4.4 .4 out of 5 rating with, with over 4,000 reviews. Let's go ahead and open these up. This is how they look. It is a very, very soft material, kind of like a velvet material on them. So the material from the outside is actually a lot softer than the material from the inside. Most of the KF94 that I've seen come with adjustable straps and this one doesn't, but the straps are very soft as well. They're made out of very, very soft material. Let's go ahead and put it on. Um, the smell is definitely there. There's definitely a very, very plastic smell to them. I don't know if it's because I have a small face. Um, I don't know if I should have gotten a size smaller because this is very loose on my face. So that whenever I'm talking, it's kind of moving a lot on my face here. So I'm talking and it's slowly coming down and this is where I get some leakage right on top of the mask right here. I feel like it is very loose fitting on my face. I was looking over the package and it does come with how to wear it and cautions. One thing that popped out on the cautions list is the do not wash and reuse. So a lot of masks contain a layer of a material called melt blown. Once you wash these face masks and you continue washing them and reusing them, it will remove the electrostatic of the material. So I also recommend for you not to wash your mask. Just wear them for as long as it tells you to wear them. Some of them are 8, 10 plus hours. So just wear them for that amount of time and dispose of them and use and then use a new one. So with that being said and me giving you some of my opinions regarding this K94, let's go and see if they pass the filtration test with our TSI machine. This is our TSI machine. We use it to test the particle filtration efficiency of a respirator or mask. Our testing procedure is inspired by NIOSH. We first remove the band before placing it to a testing plate to ensure a proper seal. Then we make sure that the mask is completely sealed with hot glue to the testing plate. The testing plate is then attached to the frame and the box is placed under the TSI filter holder for testing. We will be testing three samples in order to acquire the most accurate information. Now let's go over the results. F stands for airflow rate, which we test at 85 liters per minute. R is for resistance, also referred to as pressure drop. This correlates with the breathability. So the lower the number, the more comfortable and breathable the face mask or respirator is. F stands for filtration efficiency percentage. As shown, filtration percentage for all three masks are 98.63% and above. We are back and as you guys saw, all three results were 98.63%. 62 or above so they did pass the filtration test overall when it comes to the comfort i they are very comfortable it's just that i wish that the, the material was a bit softer because the material from the outside is really soft and the inside is just a little bit rough but nothing too crazy the fit like you guys saw every time i was talking it kept on falling i don't know if i should get a size small because I'm guessing size small is for kids. So that kind of threw me off. So the fit wasn't the best. I would say like a 7 out of 10. These do have a pretty strong plastic smell. Comfort and fit kind of go hand in hand. And I didn't feel like they were super comfortable because they didn't quite fit my face. But the quality of the face masks are pretty good. These straps are not going to snap unless you give it a good tug. 
Um, yeah, so only if you like really want to like rip this out, it's gonna rip out. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Also, don't forget to comment down below your feedback. What was your experience with this face mask? Would you like to try these face masks? Along with your suggestions, if you would like me to try any face masks, please leave them down below. Also, don't forget to check our description box down below. I will have all of our information, the master data sheet, along with our website, acumen.com, and I will see you guys in our next video.